Hey, it's Michael Masters with The Resale Room. In this video, I'm going to teach you the four-step formula that eBay resellers use to prove if your new and used items are worthy to sell in your eBay store or if they belong in the donate bin. Welcome to Good Nut, Bad Nut. I'm gonna show you how this works using an item of my own and this valuable resource, the sourcing worksheet. Click the link below this video to get your copy of the worksheet. Okay, we'll start by picking an item. This is the Fisher Price Happy Apple. It's a used item in fairly good shape, but you can tell that it's been played with. So on my worksheet, I'll fill in the name, the status, which is used, and for flaws, we'll put normal wear. Next, we'll head over to the left side of the worksheet where we have a box labeled hunger test. This test will tell us how many people are buying our happy apple and how often. Now at my computer, I'll open up eBay in my browser. You can also do this with the eBay app on your phone. Let's go to the search bar and type in the name of our item and search. Okay, here are all the current listings on eBay, but we don't wanna look at current products. We wanna look at only the happy apples that have already sold. The way to do this is to scroll down and on the left side of the screen, you'll see a checkbox labeled sold items. Click that and a new page pops up. Okay, back to our worksheet. The first question we have to answer is, how many have sold? Our options are none, a few, and many, with points given for each. So, how many have sold? As you can see by the many listings, our answer is many, which is worth three points. Our next question is, sold how often? A hot item sells every one to seven days. A warm item sells every one to three weeks and a cold item takes about a month or longer to sell. So looking at the data sale found here above the listing title, we can tell that this one is selling every day or two. So we obviously have a hot item and that's worth three points. Now we tally up our points from both questions to get a hunger score of six, which means Happy Apple is a high demand item. Now let's add that six points to our item description here and move on to the profitability test. Okay, the first question here, is my item selling for less than, equal to, or more than bottom dollar? Let me explain what that means. For every item we sell on eBay, we have to pay the appropriate fees and shipping costs. Eventually, we have to calculate these costs, but all we need right now is to set a threshold I call the bottom dollar. Basically, I take the minimum profit I'll accept, $5, and add in roughly 13% for selling fees. I think six bucks should cover us. Add to that our cost of goods, and we have our bottom dollar. Okay, now let's go back to eBay to answer that first question. Is the happy apple selling for more, less than, or equal to $7? Fortunately for us, every one of these is more than the bottom dollar. And that is worth two points. Now I hope you noticed this little sad face icon over here. I don't want you to miss this. If by chance our item was selling for less than six bucks, even if it's in high demand, you have to be willing to take a pass because at best you will have a very small profit margin, which wouldn't be worth committing your time to this item. Worse yet, you could end up paying somebody to buy this from you. I don't know about you, but I didn't get into eBay to lose money. So no matter how good you feel about the item, if the data tells you it's a bad nut, don't waste your time. Okay, moving on to the last question, which refers to the shipping trend. Are the majority of buyers getting free shipping? Let's see. No, nope, it looks like in most cases, the buyer is paying for the shipping. So that's another two points. All right, now if we tally up the profitability score, that gives us a total of four points, letting us know that our item has a high profitability. Now we can add that four points to our item description and total both of our scores for a total of 10 points. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a good nut. Congratulations, we just sourced a product together. From here, you can use the worksheet and repeat this process for all the items you have. And when you're done, you'll have a handful of profitable, high demand items ready to sell in your eBay store. Get your copy of the sourcing worksheet by clicking the link below and I will be in touch really soon.